Hi, I'm Tamara with TamaraBlossom.com. And my name's Ashao. And I'm here today to share with you how to give your lover, your partner, or your friend a massage so that they can have muscle relief. Uh, because so often, you know, you'll hear your lover, your partner, your your friend, oh, I'm so sore, I'm so sore, and um, everyone goes to see a massage therapist, which definitely do so if you need to. And you can really help them as well. And I want to show you a simple technique. It's um, a shiatsu technique, which means pressure. And um, just to show you a little different um, what, what we're going to be doing here. Like generally people think of massage as like oil massage and you're, you're pre pressing into the skin and you're moving with the fascia. Well, shiatsu is about pressing downwards. So you're really able to go deep into the muscle and relieve the tension. So that's what we're going to do. It works with pressure points. I'm not going to teach you about any of the pressure points. I'm just going to actually show you the, the basic technique. And um, we're going to just check in with Ashao and see how he feels before and after. So how are you feeling right now? So I'm feeling quite a bit of tension in my lower back and pelvis area. Um, tension bordering on pain mm -hmm. when I when I walk when I sit uh, just about any movement I'm feeling a lot of tension right right around this area lower back yeah mm -hmm. cool all right so um, there's a basic technique and then if there's a specific area of the body that your um, person you're working with is complaining about then just repeat that motions on that part of the body more more than I'm going to do now. Does that make sense? So let's, um, what you need is the person who's receiving has no belts on or, you know, any bulky um, things. The best if they're wearing some kind of a cotton shirt um, and sort of sweatpants or shorts, whatever. And as the giver, no rings and have your nails at a decent um, length. <laughs> I think that's all. Well, and then you just need a space to do it, right? So um, generally, always I work on the floor um, or a massage table. But if you don't have a massage table, then what works really well, actually, at home we have a camping mat. And um, that works really well. And you can also use foams, foamies, you know, whatever. If you have a big king-size bed, you could even do it on your bed. But you need enough space that you can get around the person. So, so. At some point, find your space. Lay, the person lays down. I always start them on their belly, usually. Um, yeah, so we're going to lay him down. And notice um, he's done this before, so he knows what to do. His head's turned to the direction that his arm is up. It just helps relieve the shoulder a bit and the neck. And then the other arm is down. And his arms, his legs are straight. Now, um, I'm a little bit um, without all of my stuff here in Costa Rica. But normally at home I would put a pillow under his ankles. I don't have anything that I could use right now. So unfortunately, you'll have to make do. But um, putting something soft under their ankles really relieves the pressure on the knees. So then you come up and you face the side that their face is facing. So if he's facing this way, that's the way I'm sitting. And you find their spine. There's a spine. I mean, if you're working on someone you don't really know, you, you connect with them first. Maybe ask for permission. I know he, he's granted me permission already to touch him. And just give them a little, um, give them a little rock back and forth. See, this is um, called rocking. It's just releasing the spine, the body, all the muscles. And it's important as a giver to never compromise your own body. So if you're uncomfortable, you're like finding yourself hurting your back, then find a different position where you feel like you feel st stable, that you can move from. And don't be afraid to touch them, especially if it's your lover. Get into their glute muscles a little bit. And you can even do that with the legs. Now, again, I don't have the, pull, the pillow under his ankle, so be more gentle there and then you can 
Once you do it kind of gently, then you can go a little bit faster and you're moving up the spine. And I'm just literally going back and forth over the vertebra, getting his body warmed up. All right. I could spend much longer here, but just for the sake of this video, I'm going to keep going. So finding his spine again, knowing, or her spine, <laughs> knowing where the spine is, you do not ever want to put direct pressure on the spine. So we're going to go on the opposite side of the spine. So not on the side that you're close to, but the opposite side. And notice my, I'm creating almost like an all fours, yeah? And I just lean right into him and relax my belly. And I relax and he relaxes. And I wait for his muscle to give in. It already did, but I'm just spending the life of time. And then I'm going to do that a little bit further down. So I'm moving my right hand down from here. And we're going to go down one side of his back. And you don't have to be pushing. There's no force necessary. It's really just place the hand and sink into it. And really be breathing deeply as well. And then on the glute muscle, just, and you can't really see what I'm doing, but you're just pressing on the glute. Same, same. So I'm going to do that again. And go from the top. So I'm, it's like I'm pressing his shoulder blade away from his spine. And always making sure you're not on the spine, you're on the outside of the spine. So there's, I guess you could say there's a stationary hand, which is my left hand right now, and then there's the walking hand, which is my right hand. Good. So from here, just for ease, I'm going to now move into his other side of his glute because now I'm going to walk and go, go down his right leg. I went his left back, and now I'm doing his right leg just because I don't have to move my body for that. Otherwise, I'd have to move to the other side. And there's many, there's no right or wrong way to do anything, but it's just easier for me right now. So I'm just going to stay on the side and I'm just going to press into his glutes using the heel of my hand. And then I'm going to take a soft fist. I might not be ready for that because it's pretty tense in here. So there's different ways you can do this. Um, we can also use a knee and have one hand on the sacrum, one hand on the thigh. Take your knee and just a gentle sink because your knee is very powerful. So I'm going to spend a little extra time down here because this is the spot that he's feeling is painful. So I'm taking my knee and I'm going down the ridge of the sacrum. So the sacrum is like this shape, sort of. So I'm going down the, the outside of it where the muscle and bone Meet. And then after the knee, I'm going to just use, again, because I'm going deeper into the sacrum, I'm going to use my thumbs into the same ridge. I'm going to start at this higher spot, <laughs> the top of the back of the pelvis. And I'm going to go down just the edge of the sacrum, but you want to be in the flesh, not on the bone. You want to be in the flesh. And then somewhere in that 
center of the side of the glute, there's this little sweet spot. You can look for it. You can ask your partner, is this the spot? Does that feel like it? Mm -hmm. And it's usually very tense, so I'm just going to hold that and let them breathe. Just roll it out, rock it out. And again, you can spend lots of time here. So this is a, I'm not gonna make the video go too, too long. So I'm gonna press down his thigh now. So now my right hand is stationary. My left hand is going down the outside of his, or back of his thigh. And as I get close to the knee, I'm gonna ease up especially because I don't have a pillow under his ankle. And again, because I don't have a pillow, I'm not going to actually press on his calf. Otherwise, if you have a nice big pillow and his, the, the person's leg is, you can press down on that calf. But because I don't, I'm going to do something different here. And I'm just going to pull his knee up on my, on my knee. You can see how I place it on my shoulder, and I'm just going to press towards me, squeezing his calf muscle in. And sort of a hold. You want to hold. Give the body a moment to receive. Kind of like a breath. You know, inhale, exhale. Okay. Letting that go. Maybe just press on that foot. Again, if this foot was on the on a pillow, I would just take my fist and massage his foot. And we're going to do the other side. So I'm going to ask him to turn. Can you turn your head, please, and your arms? So now you don't have to do the rocking again because that was more of a warm up. So you can go straight into the palm press. Again, making sure you're not pressing on the spine. You should feel the rib and the muscle on top of the rib. Oftentimes people try shiatsu and fall in love. Like it's so, I mean, some people prefer um, different types of massage for sure. For me, I love the pressing. Just feels like not only does it actually release the tension deep down, it relaxes the nervous system very deeply. A meditation in itself. And as a giver, I learned to practice hara breathing and breathing to the belly and just letting yourself sink and using gravity instead of force. So I've gotten, I did the second walking down his back, so now I'm going to walk to the other side of his glutes again. I'm going to give him a little hello here. Mm -hmm. You can feel the tension, so I'm going to ease in a little bit. And I'm going to use my knee because it's a nice big surface. So stabilizing myself. And just the big fleshy part. I'm just going to gently sink there. And anytime you can sort of move it, micro, micro movements, moving it around.
and then I'm gonna move my knee from a little bit more higher up so you can you know where the you find the sacrum top and then the top of the pelvis Whew. Going down the ridge, the sacrum. And again. Go a little bit more on the outside. Actually, gonna go a little more on the outside. And then taking my thumbs, doing a similar area, pressing in. going down his back of his thigh. A little softer on the knee. Again, if you have a pillow, you can keep going. And lift his leg up. great to be able to also create trades with your partner. Maybe one week you give, next week you receive, next week you give, next week you receive, or maybe you do it twice a week and every week you get a little massage. I bet you you'll save lots of money and you'll feel closer to your partner because touching their body in different ways that we're not used to, it's really good. So just because this is his complaint area, I'm just going to come back here. I'm going to come, actually going to come up, up on top of him here. I'm just going to use my thumbs. And I'm using this as a stretch for my legs as well. I'm just going to use my hands and press right down. not you know anything about energy work you can just imagine that part of their body that's sore just imagine sending them love light bright light whitish light gold light love your palms are energy board vortices so they can give and receive energy just Focusing on giving the energy pouring out your hands. Smile. And imagine that person feeling really good. Frolicking around, happy and joyful. And lots of pleasure in their body. Able to do anything they want to do. Feeling really good. Press on the sacrum. I'm just going 
gonna check it out here one more time with my fingers to see if this is where it's tense. So little circles, it's pretty magical. So either I go pressure or circles is generally, and there's there's other techniques of grabbing and um, it's called the J stroke where you like make a little J in the tissue. But the circles are really nice and easy to learn. And you're just trying to move the energy that's stuck there. The tissues that are holding on. And I always do is clothed, by the way. I've never done shiatsu naked. It's, it's just so much easier clothed. So I'm just doing more circles. They're called ama circles. Someone named it that, but really it's just your body touching the other person's body in a way that feels good and easy. <laughs> feels natural. Let's give him a little um, a rub, like a faster rub to kind of bring lots of fresh energy there. Okay, we're just going to brush down. I'm brushing off old stuff, anything that doesn't need to be there. And I'm going to ask them to turn over, and we're just going to work on their neck and shoulders a little bit, just because they've been in a possibly awkward posture. So I'll sit down over here. And this is, of course, easier. You can move down a little bit. This is easier if you are a little more below them, but for a short amount of time, it works fine. Just ask them to be comfortable again. I would put a pillow underneath their knees so their legs would be sort of floating. And mm, I like to come to their chest area and just actually coming up and just pushing down and letting it open. And then I'm going to grab his top of his shoulder, his trap muscles, and I'm just going to give them a little hello, massage his neck a bit because he's turned to one side. I think another video I can teach more detail about the shoulders and neck and actually teach some points that you want to hit. Just follow your intuition. Give them, and get, if you can get under their shoulder blade, that usually feels really good. Very relaxing. And um, there's different ways and techniques to do everything, right? And if you're moving a lot, they might not fall asleep. But if you end up finding a spot that feels tense, and they're like, yeah, that spot, if you hold it for a long time, they might fall asleep. They can relax so deeply, and it's amazing. The body can go into almost trance-like states just from being touched in a certain point. Magical. So now I'm gonna start moving up his neck a little bit, and I'm just going to gently massage the muscle upwards, it's sort of like these little waves towards his head. more to the side of the neck, do a little circular motion. Uh, 
to get the jaw a little bit. We end up holding tension there, so just get the jaw point. If you don't know where it is, well, you can tell. You can find the edge of the jaw, edge, and then you just move up from that a little bit, and you'll feel a little bundle of um, tendon. And then come behind their neck again, where the very top of the neck, where the skull, the bottom of the skull, top of the neck. And if you go from the very center, you find the very center. So right now I have my fingers in the very center. It's like this little pool, little valley. And then right outside of that is the is um, some muscles that go up to the neck. And then go further outside of that muscle, and there will be another little bit of a valley. Two little little pressure points there. Those are really good, really, really good for headaches, for you name it, like sort of the point to relax the head from the rest of the body and like just get the energy moving in the, in the neck. So always, always, always I release that spot or touch that spot when I give people a massage. And then after that, you can just get their head a bit because most people love their head massaged. Little bonuses, right? And I'm gonna keep it at about this length. Maybe another time we can do a, a fuller one where I do the front of the body, but I'm gonna leave it at that for now. Um, after that, I always wanna just connect them to their hara again. So right now it's my heart on the, my hand on his heart and my hand on his hara belly. So the energy moves back down into the center. And then the last thing we can do is just brush brush the person off. A little brush off. A little brush off. Brush. Brush. And maybe a little cover up their aura. Put some beautiful light and love. And disconnecting from them energetically. And you can tell them to come back to this space when you're ready take your time and so thank you guys so much um i hope i was gonna ask him how he feels but i think that it's actually goes without saying he's feeling pretty good mm. you feeling, how are you yeah, feeling i'm, feeling I'm good. not gonna assume anything i'm feeling good much yeah. better yeah. yeah so um yeah i am wanting to hear what you guys thought of this video if you like it if you want more um, massage tips and techniques let me know i also have a lot of um you know tantric tips and stuff so let me know in the comments below and subscribe as well and i will see you in the next video